Welcome back, Cancers. I'm happy to have you guys here with me today. All right, today we're going to take a look into... Well, this is how we're going to do it. The first card is going to be how you feel about them. The second card is going to be how they feel about you. And the third card is going to be what plan of action are they going to take towards you? Like, what move are they going to make towards you? Okay. So, let's get into some things all right then we're gonna have some guidance at the end so make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video all right if you're new to my channel don't forget to click the bell to subscribe all right if you've been rocking with me for a while thank you guys like comment and share let me know what's going on okay if this message does not resonate with you which it will not resonate with every single cancer it's pretty much impossible Please check out your moon rising and Venus signs, okay? Those videos will be available as well, okay? So this is going to be for Cancer, 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 Cancer. What message do you have for Cancers? This is going to be for the remainder of April. What messages do you have for Cancer? All right, stop. This is it right here. All right, bottom of the deck, guys, we have attraction. Okay, so you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so there could be someone that you're attracted to um, or you or vice versa. Okay, so let's take a look and see. Yes, someone here you have romantic feelings for. You have some romantic feelings for someone here. All right. They are feeling as if there's some forgiving and learning of a lesson here. Okay, so maybe they're wanting forgiveness from you. Um, we have as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Okay. And the energy that they're going to bring towards you is keep an open mind. Okay, so you your soulmate may differ from the usual type of expectations. Okay, so they're wanting you to keep an open mind about something. But someone someone here is wanting you to forgive them and they feel as if they learned some type of lesson. So maybe here with attraction, maybe you guys are focused in on your look. Um, how you present yourself, um, or being more attractive, okay? So, let's see. Please give me clarifiers for counsels. For counsels. changes um or there's just like circumstances have changed or there is um things are starting to change and going more so in your favor okay maybe you're wanting to wanting something different from them okay let's see romantic feelings yeah the truth is okay that you have romantic feelings for this person your feelings are real and they're worth exploring okay ace of source is clarity you're coming to that realization you want to be truthful about your romantic feelings for this person okay you want to be open and honest you want to open up exactly you want to tell this person how you really feel all right we have the three of cups okay so this is reuniting coming together this is also like as friends getting together with friends socializing okay let's see i want to pull another card before i get into their their energy all right yeah keep an open mind we have the ace of pentacles virgo towards capricorn's energy but this is like an opportunity okay all right so i feel like 
there was some type of betrayal or some type of ending here okay things ended or there was some type of heartbreak or sorrow and you want to be honest about how you really feel about it okay maybe they're wanting forgiveness and they're hoping that you can still be friends with them they're hoping that you will still come around. They're hoping that they can continue to stay in your life and you guys can continue to come together and, and you know, be cordial. Okay. I feel like here with keep an open mind, we have the ace of pentacles. So this is definitely like an opportunity on the table. Okay. There's some type of opportunity on the table. And I feel like Something here is burdening. There, I feel like someone here is possibly having financial issues. Maybe that's why they want you to keep an open mind. Either some, and that's not for all of you, but someone here could possibly have financial issues um, or some type of uh, material, something material, um, and it's kind, it's causing them to feel burdened. And that's something that they may need to figure out. Some of you guys, it could be legal issues, okay? Or someone's dealing here with a Libra. But I feel like something here is burdening to them. Um, and for some reason, they're wanting you to keep an open mind, okay? They're wanting you to not be so closed off to their way of looking at things and how they how they handle the situation, Um because I do feel like they're possibly going through some type of burden or hardship. Um, and this is something that they're trying to balance out. Okay. They're definitely wanting to keep you around. Okay. They're hoping that you forgive them and can find peace. Some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius. We have King of Pentacles here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um... I'm, I'm really not seeing a lot of water here, but it could be for any sign of that matter. Okay, because this is more so of energy. This is about energy. Okay, why is the king of pentacles here? Someone here possibly was, you felt like they were possibly like selfish. And they kind of stabbed you in the back betrayed you and you're ready to express how you feel you're ready to be open you're ready to open up how you feel definitely why is the temperance card here they're hoping that you would they're really hoping that you forgive them for what for whatever it is that they did to you they're really hoping for forgiveness and that um this situation can be healed we have the star card as well as the temperance card so definitely they're hoping that you guys can definitely still come together be cordial be friends and heal from the situation why is the temperance card here yeah we have the six of pentacles okay so this is like give and take okay so I feel like they're wanting to balance the scales out. They're wanting to balance the scales out and they're 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 wanting to heal and ask for forgiveness. Why is the justice card here? Okay, we got the ace of cups. It's like talk about something new. Someone here does not they don't want to talk about something here. Um, there's something that they don't want to talk about. It's something that's very burdening to them. I'm kind of getting the sense of they're hoping that you've healed from this betrayal or hurt from the past. Um, and they're, they don't want to talk about it. They, they're, wanting, they're wanting something. They're wanting new energy from you. I feel like they're, they're hoping that you aren't closed enough like closed-minded to where you can't move forward because they're i'm getting their energy is more so like you know do you forgive me i hope you forgive me can we move on and can we start fresh why is the ace of pentacles here yeah there's a new thing here 
okay the ace of cups and the ten of cups so there's something new here there's a new love or a, a chance for something new here an opportunity maybe the opportunity is here to let go of this baggage here with this ten of wands because there's lots of baggage here okay so maybe there's an opportunity to drop this load okay to drop this baggage okay figuring this thing out and starting new okay and they hope you're open to it they're really really hoping that you're open to it all right so let's hop into advice all right i'm going to pull a card and see what energy spirit has for you in regards to advice this is the power of love deck. I love this this deck, the activation cards. I love, so, so, so love this deck. All right, so anyways, cancers. What, 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 what message do you have for cancers? What advice do you have for cancers? Yeah, look, Cancers, you guys aren't at peace, okay? Um, some of you guys need to, there's some healing work that needs to be done. Um, peacefulness is in, is in the reverse. So if it were upright, you would recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. So you're not calm, okay? You're not at peace. Some of you guys are dealing with anxiety, okay, worrisome energy, being feelings of being kept up at night. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio. I got the same energy from Scorpio, okay? So, look, we have cause and effect, okay? This is the advice. We have cause and effect, but it's also in the reverse, okay? Now, if it were upright, you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. But being that it is in the reverse, okay, this is something about give and take or this is an unrequited situation or someone is not understanding the cause, I mean, not understanding the effect of a situation that someone caused, okay? So let's, I want to pull a clarifier. Let's pull a few clarifiers. kind of sort of like law of attraction okay you get what you put out type energy but i'm getting this it's kind of like being that it's in the reverse it's kind of making me worry a little bit kind of making me want to get more Ten of Cups. This card has been coming up a lot for yeah, something new. Okay, so you guys are wanting something new. Someone here wants a new start. Okay, we got the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups, um, and this is a new beginning in love. Okay, we have the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, but this is definitely like taking action. Okay, so there's a need to take action on, on something here. Okay, someone here is definitely having regrets about an action that they took here. Um, they wasn't realizing the effect that this would cause on the situation. And now someone here is having regrets. I'm not sure if it's you or if it's the, uh, the, uh, the party because energy can go vice versa. But someone here is regretting their actions that they took. Um, and now they are reaping the... I want to even say karma or the, you know, backlash of the energy that they put out, okay? There is an opportunity for a new start, okay? There is an opportunity for a new start, but I do feel like forgiveness and, you know, um, healing is going to have to take place here, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius, Leo Sagittarius. Dealing with the Sagittarius, Leo, or an Aries. I got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but definitely fire, fire energy. Yeah, there's a new start after someone decided to walk away. Okay. But someone is here is definitely like having regrets about their actions. Someone someone didn't consider the cause 
or the I'm sorry, didn't consider the effect of something. They didn't think about it when they did it. They just did it. And now someone here is having regrets. OK, like I said, there is a, a opportunity that here for a new start after someone decided to walk away from a situation. OK, I hope this message was helpful for you guys. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in with me. <laughs> Um, and if you would like to get your very own personal reading, guys, to get in depth on your situation particularly and to get your own additional um, guidance and advice, you can check the description box below. I do have a new client. This will only be for new clients, guys. OK, so this will be twenty five dollars um, on your very own personal full reading. OK, um, and those prices for my full readings normally range forty five dollars and up. OK. Only for my new clients only will they be $25, okay? You have to be a new client um, in order to receive the discounted rate, okay? So um, that information is in the drop box below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Like, comment, and share, okay, guys? Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. Until next time, guys. Mwah. Ciao for now.